بر بنیاد گزارش های سازمان ملل متحد افغانستان در مرگ و میر کودکان زیر پنج سال در مقام نخست According to the UNDP Infant and under five mortality rates in Afghanistan are among the highest in the world, with one in every eight children dying before the age of five. Sixty percent of these deaths are from treatable infectious causes, such as diarrhea, acute respiratory infections, and vaccine-preventable illnesses, which make the situation even more tragic. Our modern civilization was made possible by mothers who inspire their children to become the best they could be. Mothers do rock the cradle with one hand and shake the earth with the other. In Afghanistan, every woman, on average, will give birth six times in their lifetime. Two-thirds of these births will be in mud-brick households due to lack of health care centers, midwives, and medical professionals. به علت کمبودی مراکز صحی، دایه ها و کارکنان صحی در منازل و به دور از کمک افراد آموزش دیده صحی صورت می گیرد. روی سرک های قلب داره. کرای مترمون به سه هزار چار هزار نمی شود. اما غریب روی کمبودیم. می آیم برای جمع کنن. سرک ندارن. کمبودی سرک. کمبودی وسایت نقلیه که ندارن. دیگه اونا را مردم اطراف به سر, سر خرد. در تسکیره لکنده لکنده میانه ای که سرک همون خراب است و مردم من وضعی اقتصادش هم خراب است نمیتونه و همون رقب که میانه وضعی مریض من چی میشه و در جا که میانه دیگه بلاخیره از بند ایبن میره در نتیجه این علت ها در هر سی دقیقه یک زن افغان در جریان ولادت کنید از این کانسکوینس از این فاکترز One Afghan woman dies in childbirth every 30 minutes. According to recent Ministry of Health statistics, nearly 350 out of 100,000 Afghan women dies during her pregnancy. در حالی که 67 درصد ولادت های دیگر در منازل در شرایط غیر صحی. علت اساسیشان عدم آگاهی است، عدم دسترسی است و نبودن یونیت خون در کلینیک های مربوطه بوده. که یا یونیت خون نبوده یا پایواز حاضر نشده که خون بوده یا کسی را پیدا نکردن که پیدا خون بوده آمارها نشان می دهد که 2169 کلینیک شفاخانه سیار شفاخانه و دیگر سهولت های صحی در افغانستان وجود دارد Of the reported 2169 healthcare clinics outposts, hospitals and other care facilities located throughout Afghanistan most are single room basic health clinics without any hospital beds The sub-health clinics have from 4 to 20 beds, while the comprehensive health care centers have from 20 to 200 beds. All in, there are fewer than 14,500 hospital beds in Afghanistan. The national average of hospital beds for every 1,000 people living in Afghanistan is 0.4 beds. There are 5,970 physicians for a population of more than 28 million people. or a physician per capita of one doctor for every 4,000 people. عدم دسترسی به خدمات صحی فشارهای عصبی در دوران بارداری از علتهایی است که خوشی زنان افغان را به معیوسیت مبدل می کند. More healthcare centers should be established in our provinces and more clinics in our villages. Clearly we need more doctors and professional health workers. با این همه در مشارکت با In partnership with like-minded NGOs and partner donors, the Bayat Foundation has embarked on a mission to build 10 maternity hospitals in Afghanistan whose main focus is maternal well-being, child health, and safe births. In 2009 alone, over 192,000 babies were born in such foundation-supported maternity facilities, and the Bayat Foundation is currently looking to further alleviate the suffering of mothers and children via the deployment and use of proven sonogram machines capable of sending ultrasound images of a prenatal fetus to the United States, where experienced doctors will examine the images to improve the health of unborn children and to save the lives of our expectant mothers.